Hi there, this is Tilly from O Tilly Style Stock Photography. I just thought I'd jump on and give everyone a quick Canva tutorial. Um, some of us have never used Canva before, some of us are very new at editing images, some of you might not have edited a photo online at all before or on a computer. Um, so this is basically an online alternative to Photoshop. So you can add text and, and graphics and you can customize your photos on here. You can also add filters, all those sorts of things. So it's a really powerful online image editor. So jump on onto Canva, which is canva.com up there, you see, and you can sign up with your Facebook or Google or with your email as well. I've already got an account, so I'm just going to log in. It's free, totally free to use um, for the basic one. There is also a slightly more powerful version, which is for businesses, um, and you can pay to upgrade to that. You don't need to upgrade to that. There's still a lot that you can do with the free one. So what we're going to do is up on the left hand side, we're going to click create a design. And it comes up with all these options that are different sizes for different things. So you've got a gift certificate that's a six, six by four inch. So you can actually design your own gift certificate, send it off to the printers and they have it printed for your clients. Um, you can also do um, Instagram posts, uh, 1080 by 1080 pics. They're perfectly sized for Instagram. You just click on that and it'll take you in there. But what we're going to do today is a Facebook post. So up here, 940 by 780 pics. 788 pics. So what this does is give you a template for a post that's exactly the right size for social media. So here you've got some Canva layouts that you can use. So there's plenty in there that are free and there are some paid ones if you continue on. Um, you'll find the best stuff is all paid, <laughs> as it always is. Um, but if you want to use your own photos, just down here on the left hand side you can click uploads and you can upload your own images. So we're going to use this image today. I've already uploaded it. So what I'll do is I'll click on it over here and pop it up in my template. So as you see, this image isn't the right size for the template. It's actually way bigger. It's just that um, that's how Canva works. So you resize it so that there's no white space on the top or the bottom. But you'll notice that the image is longer. So basically what you do is just select where you're happy with it sitting. We're going to add text to that phone screen. So I don't want it quite dead in centre, I want it about there and I do want it a little bit bigger. So we're going to go with that right there and then you just click out and that's your background ready to go. Now I want to add some text here to this phone screen um, and the best way to do that, well the only way to do that is to click on the text button over here. Now you've got the option to add a heading or add a subheading or add a little body of text. I don't want any of those. So I'll just get rid of those that I just created because silly. And get rid of you. What I want to do is go down here and look at all of these amazing already ready graphics. So you can add your own text to any of these and it'll come up in the in the same shape that it's in. So there's some really great ones there. Lots of great colours um, and beautiful texts as well. There's a mixture of, of some different fonts in there which is awesome also lots of different shapes that you can add as well so the text will pop up in a shape so we might do let's find one now I haven't practiced this before I've recorded it so it's a little bit slappy um, we might go with this one that is really cool and it should fit nicely on the screen just make sure it fits before I go in there. I don't know if I can make it a little bit narrower. Can I? No, don't like that one. It doesn't work. I might go with this one instead. Okay. Now I can change the colours of that because I really don't like those colours. They don't really don't go with this photo. So we're just going to twist it until it's straight and it looks like it fits on the phone screen. And I'm happy with that. So I want to change that background photo color sorry background color so up here you've got the option to change the background color I really like that bright pink and I want to change the color of the dots on it yellow is pretty cool so we've got actually I might just change that pink a little bit um, because I want a pink that's closer to something that matches in here so I'm gonna go more of a ready pink orangey ready pink but paler that's good I like that there that's really nice oh no <laughs> can never make up my mind there we go I like that that's cool it's peachy 
and your text. So you just click on it to edit it. And first things first, I'm going to change the text color to yellow. And I'm going to write in some text. doesn't know what Instagram is so let's just that's fine it doesn't matter so basically now we've got this really 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 cool text in the phone I'm just gonna move it to center it a little bit better that seems about right there and so you've got a really great customized image that you can add to Facebook so what I'm gonna do now is save it so once you've done that you just click on the download button up here it automatically defaults to PNG, which I never download. I go with JPEGs and then you click download and it will save your design and download it to your computer. Your design is ready. So then there it is. All saved onto my computer. Now I'm sorry that opened up in Photoshop, but that's it's saved on my computer. So I can just go and upload it to Facebook now anywhere I want to. That's one. So what we'll do now so we will go with save and I'll just go back to Canva and I'm going to create another design but this time I'm just going to do a quick Instagram post and I'm going to show you how to make a quote on Instagram and I'm going to do it using a background from the Otilly Style Stock Library I love this one this is from the New York Chic collection and I like that section of the image just get right to there that's beautiful and now I'm going to add some text actually I'm going to pop an element in there I'm going to pop in a shape and the shape that I want to add is probably just going to go with a, a very basic square maybe uh, this one that one's really cool I like that and I'm just going to center it and make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to change it up here on the right hand side is this little button with the black and white grid it looks like a checkered flag and that affects the transparency of that thing so I can have it a hundred percent opacity which means you can't see through it or you can make it 50% so you can see halfway through it and I think it looks good around there and click out Actually, no, I need to leave a little bit bigger. There you go. And now you can add text on top of that. Um, I, I'm just going to do a quick little quote. Something cool for my followers. You click on that, and then you click on click out, and then you click on the other text. I just change the size of that text so you can click up here and change the size so say that's too big you can go the next size down or you can type in what size you want 41 and then that's the right size now the whole thing is a little bit too big the text is a little bit too big for that box so I'm going to shrink the text down a bit to pop it in the middle and I actually love that color so I'm going to leave it that color and there you've got a really cool Instagram post and once again, just up on the top right hand side, just click to JPEG and download and it will save to your computer. And when I want to post to Instagram, I save everything obviously to my desktop and then I just pop it in a Dropbox folder and then I can download it directly onto my phone. Dropbox is also free to use. Um, yeah, there you have it. If you have any questions, um, just send me an email at hello at otilly.net. Thanks. Bye.